Hello. Were you ever fascinated by fairy tales as a child? Or really feel that you need to impart the same kind of information to your children? Well, you'd be surprised to know that some parents think it's a good idea, but there are others who think that these fairy tales either never had a moral lesson or they were just too scary to be read to the child and so they never did it. But the idea is fairy tales do carry a message and they help in the learning of the child and that's what today's video is about. I'm Prab Jyot, an occupational therapist, spreading the word on rehabilitation once again. Just to understand the basic idea behind reading fairy tales to the child is, they always, or most of the time at least, began with once upon a time. Don't you understand the connotation of this? It just helps the child transport themselves into this safe world but at the same time also shows that the story is very much related to reality. Don't we go in the forest and move around or go outside sometimes without our parents, like Little Red Riding Hood? Or there were a time that we came upon a strange house and we just felt that excitement to go inside like Goldilocks? So these are real situations, but how to deal with them or what message they carry is the important thing with fairy tales. Let's first try to understand what kind of message these fairy tales have portrayed to us. If we try to take the example of Goldilocks and the three bears, people might think Goldilocks was stealing the things in the house, but you are wrong because the end message is that you should never enter anyone's premises or anyone's house without permission because there might be three bears living inside it. So the message is at the end, not in the middle. Then there could be the story of the Little Red Riding Hood where of course talking to the wolf was really not helpful for her. So the first message that we get from that story is that don't judge a person by their initial appearance or how sweetly they try to talk to you initially. There might be some problem that happens in the end. And also never talk to strangers and also never relieve, reveal your information to them. She gave all the information about her grandmother and see where it landed her. Then there are other stories, for example, with the ugly duckling, where the duckling always thought that nobody accepts me, everybody hates me, what should I do about it? But at the end, the message is always accept yourself because you will have some quality that might come out one day. Like the ugly duckling actually became a very beautiful swan in the end. So you really need to accept yourself because everyone has some quality and you never know when it might be the time to show it or when it might just come forward. Also, if you talk about the story of Hansel and Gretel, well, it was a problem solving, wasn't it? The two kids really needed to get out of that witch's house. No matter that they got fascinated by the candy, doesn't it also give the message that don't be fascinated by sweets or things offered by strangers or if you see them around, don't just go and pick them up. Always be careful, it might be dangerous. So it warns us against dangers. Moving to the story of the three little pigs. Don't we get the idea that you should never be lazy because one pig made his house with straw, the second one with sticks and only the third one with brick. And of course the first two avoided it just so that they don't have to do any hard work and see where it landed them. The wolf was just about to eat them and blow their house apart. So don't be lazy. And similarly we can go to three billy goat story where they have to cross the bridge and are encountered by a giant. So what we learn from over here is sometimes we have to solve our problems on our own because the three billy goats did solve the problem of crossing the bridge individually and going across the bridge is always going to and accepting that challenge is always going to land you in a very good place or you might be able to achieve something great in life. You'll be successful. As far as the elves and the shoemaker go, well, we know the elves made such beautiful shoes for the shoemaker so doing things for others is always good and it always gets rewarded in the end that's the message for that story these fairy tales unknowingly also tend to help us 
with learning certain concepts like how the good and the bad exist in the world because some people think no we do not want to teach bad things to our child but no if you just make them aware with these simple stories they will be prepared to deal with it they will learn how to deal with that situation and the power of perseverance of sustaining persisting and going on till the end will appear in the child or the child will learn such things like if you really take the story of goldilocks wasn't it always the porridge was too hot and too cold we learn the opposites or one bed was too soft the other was too hard again we learn the opposites or one chair was too high the other was too big or too small all of these concepts are developed in that one story with these points we understand that these fairy tales give us so many messages make us learn so many important things like being creative able to reason with things what is good and what is bad or which path we should take also helps to strengthen a parent child bond of course because if you read the fairy tale the child will be interested and improve the listening skills of the child as well it helps the child to express their ideas that no matter how fantastical the idea is, no matter how out of the way the idea is, they can always apply it and improve their creative thinking. Then the kids also learn problem solving skills in this. All fairy tales had one or the other problem that needed to be solved. Accepting challenges is important because we saw that in all the fairy tales, children do not run away or the characters never ran away but they accepted the challenges so it helps in developing resilience imaginative ability of the child improves and of course there are some fairy tales like you might feel the little mermaid really doesn't give us any message well that's not it also helps us to develop critical thinking whether it's the right decision to make on an overall basis or not whether to trust a stranger or be infatuated with a stranger so much that you leave everything, your family, your whole life behind, is that a good decision to make? Well, it helps us develop critical thinking, as I said. It is important these fairy tales are necessary for the growth and development and the learning of a child, most importantly. And I always loved the happily ever after in the end that after overcoming all these challenges and problems, there is a happy ending. It's only that you have to accept that challenge, you need to solve that problem and it will lead you to a good ending. So starting with once upon a time to the end of happily ever after, everything inside always gave us a very good and beautiful message. Let me know if you liked it. It was a different kind of video, but I thought it was worth making. So leave a like if you liked it, leave the comment on how you felt about it or any other video suggestions, subscribe to the channel and watch my other videos for child therapy and in general from my playlists and we will meet again.